Good morning. This is Dolphin Boy 1990 coming to you through the media of YouTube. Um, and today I'm with Carl Jigsaw Gillespie. Say hi, Carl. Hi, yeah. Uh... Okay, and we're at a place called Snake Lake, which is. Um, where, whereabouts is it? New Degate. New Degate. Um, today's vlog is going to be a fishing vlog, so we're just getting set up right now. Um, we'll soon be casting off. I will get back to you once we've caught our first capture of the day. See you in a bit. Bye. Right, so we've got the weight and the float set, weights and the float set up. Carl's now doing the hook. Tell so, us a little bit about this. So what we're going to do is going to put a hair rig. You might need a camera too. Yep. Uh -huh. What we're going to need to do is how to put a hair rig which is already attached to the hook onto the line. So what we do mm -hmm. is we get two fingers. Yep. Like that. Two, two fingers. Yep. And if I put two fingers like that, I do apologise. <laughs> I apologise if that if I did that. So what we do is wrap it around our two fingers, then we turn it like that. It's a bit tricky. And then what we do, then we try and make a knot like that. Uh, just bear me one second. Okay. It's a bit tricky to do it, but once you practice like four or five times, it should be fine. And then it should and then it should slide up and down the line like a hangman's noose. Mm -hmm. That's the way I just like to describe it. And then what we do is get one of these babies, like one of those. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we get one of these little babies. Now I should warn you, everyone, hooks are not meant to be played with. They are very sharp and can cause a lot of damage to the human body. Mm -hmm. So, do be careful of the hook. So what we do is we get the hook loophole, and then what we do is just, uh, just pinch it up there, and then what we do is then we get the hook without stabbing ourselves. Yep, most important. Uh, stabbing ourselves, and then. We feed it through that loop and then we pull and then and then we pull and then hang on, just make sure it's alright. And then and there we go. And there we go. See so now it's fully attached mm -hmm. to the line. Mm -hmm. So what we do now is get a pair of scissors, which sadly I do not have, but don't worry. We can just cut it with a knife. Be careful, it's very sharp, so you don't want to like cut yourself or lose a finger. Uh, it's got caught on my tool, which is not good. There we go, got it freed. And then we find the the end bit, which which is this bit, which you don't really need. Mm -hmm. And then get the sharp blade, and then and then, then it just cuts like that. Easy peasy. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So what you're saying about the blade? So every time when you finish with this, uh, when you get home, make sure the blade is very sharp and not blunt. So probably use like a Sam like some of those blade sharpeners you find in kitchens or in garages, whatever. And then uh, and then test it out to see on a piece of paper or whatever to make sure it's sharp enough. So and once it's sharp, you're happy with it, then that's fine. Now what we do next is, uh, if I can find my little uh, plummet, which is here which is one of these, it's like a bell type of thing, but you can get different weights and sizes from your local fish shop. So what we do, we feed the hook through there, like so, mm -hmm. and then you see this cork bit at the bottom, and then what we do is we put it on the cork, like that, and then just push it in to make sure it's fully secure, in. and then just pull, and then it should be dangled like that and then what we do next is to test the water to see how deep 
it really is. Now the edge of the bit, I would probably would fish. guess. Oh, and you got a fish, Dad? Yeah. Let's go and find off. Let's have a look at our first catch. Yeah. And first cast of the morning, first catch. Yes, that is a little tench, and I would guess that was about half, just shy, just shy of a pound. I would say about half a half an ounce. Oh. Half an ounce. <laughs> Still counts though. It's about half a pound. Half a pound. Nice. Half of a pound. Oh, yep. so, so just got to get the fish out of the net now. So get the I'll pass you over back to Shane and catch up with you in a bit. So, tell us a little bit about that type of fish. So, what you just saw was is a tench which was half a pound. Uh, they are very slimy and green, but very beautiful and. Uh, they can really pack up a really good fight. Good. And uh, what sort of uh, weight can they get up to? Uh, I would probably guess the maximum weight they can get up to is probably about five pounds. Nice. Probably, probably good. about a reasonable guess, but good. I don't know exactly how big they can go. Good. All right, well, I'll catch up with you when we get something else. See you in a bit. Yeah. Bye. So we're still fishing. How have you found it so far today, Carl? Uh, been all right. Been all right? I was packing up his stuff he's done for the day nice little duckies there yeah. so you've caught, caught a few fish haven't you Carl? yeah I've caught a few fish there goes all the sweet corn that should entice the fish hopefully okay, uh, we'll see if we get anything else uh, I'll let you know when we do see you in a bit So we're just leaving Snake Lake now, um, just he starting to head back. It's been an okay day, hasn't it, Carl? It certainly has, yeah. Caught a few fish, maybe not as many as we would have liked to have caught, but that uh, happens. <laughs> some days you get them, some days you don't. It's just the luck of the day. Exactly. But we caught something at least, let's say. Anyway, that's good. Oh, right, so I'm going to sign off for today's vlog. So if it's a bit of a short one, I'm not sure, actually I haven't put it together yet, so I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Um, Go on, dog. Uh, oh, we've got a dog in the road. Just got to be careful. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for um, today's vlog. See you later, dog. See you later. So I'm going to sign. Sorry about that. Talking to a blooming dog. Now I'm going crazy. Um, yeah, I'm going to sign off for today's vlog. So it's goodbye from Carl Jigsaw Gillespie. Peace out. Okay. Goodbye from me. Thanks for checking out the Dolphin Boy once again. And I'll see you on the next adventure, wherever that may be. See you later. Bye.